Okay. Pro gamer compounds. Are they worth it? So, okay. I am a game bro. And I don't know. Call me stupid, but I already like this the idea of like a like a pro gamer compound. But that is uh the, the worth the worth of it the worth itness of it is probably uh it's probably not worth it, but uh it's like an extreme luxury it in my head. Do I want it? Yes. Is it worth it? Absolutely not. <laughs> The Pro Gamer Compound, a massive building full of consoles, PCs, video games, and swamp ass. They've gained a yes. lot of popularity over the last few years, thanks to big creators like JonTron and Video Game Donkey absolutely clowning on them. But I want to give them a chance. Fundamentally, it's a sound business model. From the consumer side, you're getting the latest hardware and games for one set monthly price. In That's actually pretty cool. I mean, because I don't know if he's going to go into like the exact details and specs of like, uh, like a station and whatnot. And to be fair, um, as like a slightly slight PC snob, you're getting the oh, wait, go back. It's a so there's one issue amongst many uh, for this and me. One issue is that, um, these are those stupid ass uh, racing seats that are that don't improve performance at all and they don't help you in your lumbar support of just sitting there. So, uh, you know, no trashing on like the brand or whatever, but just, Hey, if you want me to buy like a PC chair, make an ergonomic thing that's comfortable to sit in for a couple hours. All right. Don't give me this stupid racing bucket seat or whatever this dumb shit is just cause it, it looks cool. All right. Fuck that shit, dude. Uh, that's one thing I, I can't tell if this is carpet. It looks like it. Um, I do like carpet. I got carpet in here. So that way you that you can like set the wheels in place like you can move it around and set the wheels in place so that your body's not like moving around you don't have, like it whenever this is from like an FPS perspective all right <laughs> okay like mouse and keyboard like you you adjust the chair on the ground and like you can like sit in it and it the wheels stay like if you were to have this type of chair but on like tiles or wood floor or anything like that and you play like on a low sense like 50, 60, 70, 80 CM where you're just whipping your arm all over the shit. It's like, bro, you're going to like dis dislodge yourself from having like the correct posture. Like at the beginning of the match, you're going to be in the middle of your screen. At the end of the match, you're going to be like on the side of the goddamn screen from you whipping your shit around. Um, but yeah, that's another thing that they did right, right here. Uh, I do like the carpet. Um, what else? I do not like the fact that this is just one desk uh everybody has their own individual height um if the these acts for me like end game and shit like that uh this need these need to all be like uh adjustable desks like fuck this one table we are all here together type deal fuck that uh these all need to be adjustable for, like their own station you know everybody has different it's just they all have different heights you know just the long and short of it you know uh that is another thing. I do not like the fact that these are, uh, each monitor doesn't have its own like monitor arm to adjust the height of, uh, the arm or the, the monitor. So it's like, you can't position the, the screen. Yes. They have the stand for it or whatever. So that's nice. But again, I mean, it's whatever. And I don't like the fact that the tower is right here on the right hand side. I'm a righty. So it, I, I bet this uh little setup is great for lefties, but as a, if it was me, I would probably have the tower on the other side. Um, just so I can have my mouse pad take up more space, like upwards and downwards and left and right, instead of, you know, whatever this piddly little tiny mouse pad is. It's like, what are you trying to do? Fucking compose an email right here with your little tiny hundred by hundred mouse pad. Get the get the shit out of here. Um. That's one thing. Uh, I don't really enjoy the LEDs being right there. Uh, that's it, it looks cool, definitely, but it would just take away and it would like only add to the, the, the more visual clutter around the monitor. But I, again, it looks cool, you know, with all this 
little strobe light bullshit with your little sponsors up there. That's fine. I don't give a shit about that. And I actually do like the the clean the clean wall. I really like this. I don't want a lot of shit uh, th like taking up my eyes, like my eyes being busy behind this thing. This is fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as the computer goes, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, I would not fucking hang my shit right off the monitor. You're just probably doing that for, uh, just looks and aesthetic pleasing things to make everything like uniform. I'm not like, stop putting shit on your monitor period. Just lay them right down, right down there. You know, it's not going to hurt anything, anybody. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's just my two cents right there. I mean, oh yeah. And there's, there is a couch right here. There is a couch right here. I mean, that's cool. You can have like some people behind you doing some shit. You're, you got like the squad, you know, doing some shit right here. That's cool. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't, what is this roof doing up here? Is this like kind of open? Is it like a sunroof? I don't know what's going on, but I don't know. Sound business model. From the consumer side, you're getting the latest hardware and games for one set monthly price instead of constantly needing to upgrade your own. Oh yeah. Like, is it within the business model to be like, okay, these P these towers, these little knickknacks inside the computer are outdated. We need to ship them out and get like the brand new ones for like the fastest, like PC that can run like a fucking 500 Hertz monitor refresh rate and all that shit. Uh, I think that's cool. All right. But that's the, uh, degenerate in me that I like set up to keep up with the times and from the Jesus. business standpoint the subscription model is highly attractive esports and really the gaming industry as a whole is growing like crazy and yeah. these communities need a place to call home seems like a home run now one of these costing 50 oh okay they got multiple i know these are like the, the good chairs or whatever let me see this one home run now one <laughs> um you know okay so the tower's on the ground again the, i know these are like the short i don't know what you call it the short fuzz carpet so it's not like deep carpet where you can just set your chair in there might be a little bit of give but the main goal is to just have the chair not move whenever you're whipping your shit around that's the main goal um towers on the ground eh, i guess that's fine um you just got to be careful with like spinning spinning your feet or not worrying about it and like knocking them knocking them over or anything like that. And you got to worry about dust collection and shit like that. So that is an issue. Uh, other than that, I mean, this little light thing here is like great for feng shui and, and whatnot. I don't, do they have like lights like behind them on the ceiling, like beaming down? So, or is this like a behind the monitor, like, like right there, like reflecting light on the wall, whatever, get that light out of there. That's retarded. Um, this little swervy wavy thing i mean it's great for feng shui but it doesn't really serve any purpose that's fine uh i do like the fact that these all are like monitor arms this is like a big uh, a big up uh and the cable management i think is really on point back here i see this little ladder looking thing that's great i know these are like the really good chairs these are the good chairs i forgot the name of them but i just know they're the good chairs um you can adjust the arms, the, the back, there's lumbar spine. I thing with this chair is like, there's, I don't know if this is like good enough for like to put a headrest on this chair needs to like put a headrest on that shit, dude. Um, I, th 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 so the, since this is like league of legends, it's understandable that this monitor just looks ginormous. All right. So what is this? Like a 27 inch, probably more 32 inch, possibly, um, you know, FPS monitor, you want a 24 inch, I think for like 1080 and like crank the frames up to like a thousand if you can but for league of legends you know they can kind of get away with the the larger monitors and like the looks that they want the colors the looks i mean yes they still want frames frames win games and especially in the competitive sense i don't know maybe these are like 144 hertz or maybe 240 but this is this is like really pushing uh like the monitor size because with the bigger monitor size uh you know you want a smaller monitor to uh what do you call it so you can don't have to move your eyes around as much. You want to have everything in your field of view, not like you want to be moving your head or anything, but it's whatever. Overall, this is like a pretty good setup. One of these uh, and also I do see that all of these are adjustable heights. I am 
adjustable height desk. So a huge W, massive W. Um, you know what's kind of hilarious to me? The Hundred Thieves, uh, like little setup, is essentially made by uh, what, like Nade Shot, and he's like an FPS bro, and he had like a good era of, you know, for Valorant and shit. So he's into he knows all the little minutia things that go on for like FPS. So why wouldn't he put like adjustable height desks, adjustable like chairs, adjustable monitor arms to get like the correct height for him and the boys when you need it for like, you know, like aiming on M and K. But meanwhile, here comes the, uh, the League of Legends bros coming in hot with the adjustable desks, the adjustable, the arms, and they don't even need it as much. I would argue they just need to click their mouse and do all that little micro bullshit. <laughs> it's like, why does the FPS bro skimping out on all of the, the critical components, but the League of Legends, bro, I mean, what is this like the TSM compound? I don't know. They come in, they're coming in hot with all the adjustments. This, this is a backwards world I'm living in. Costing $50 million, that's a bit much. But on a smaller scale, to have a local place to host game nights, make new friends, and take part in smaller tournaments for your favorite games, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. But I could talk about these things all day from the comfort of my studio. Studio. Let's go and actually check one out in person. <laughs> Oh shit! All right, so I'm here in Columbus, Ohio, to check out the one and only Game Arena. Our buddy Spencer works there. He's going to give us an exclusive behind-the-scenes tour of the joint and answer some of my burning questions. Nice. Let's check it out. Again, you saw that little scene with like the one long table, and everybody's on one long table. So all you tall bros and all you short bros, you got to make it work. <laughs> Who it is? I'll go. Woohoo! Welcome to Game Arena. It's not my video. Oh, yeah, we got the. Got the oh, yeah. So, this is actually really cool. All of that other shit I was talking about earlier, it doesn't matter so much for uh, fighting games. Fighting game bros, they just need a TV and the console or the computer and like the sticks. They just need the sticks. In the screen, that's all they need. Zero MS input, zero lag, zero latency, all that shit. And it's like the peripherals don't matter as much for fighting game bros. <laughs> I know I made that overlay. We have over 40 gaming PCs in here, high end. We actually have more in our storage unit. Nice. 40 is like a good amount to actually have. In oh shit. Uh, yup. It's actually really cool. Dang, it's like one, two, three. You got like your little six man party. This is like perfect for like the finals or Apex or I don't know. Any, this is actually pretty cool. Again, with the, the racing chairs. Ugh. Whatever. <laughs> In location, we have the rows, we have the private cubbies that gives you kind of like a, a little bit of a private feel. Um, even more private. The thing it's weird to me is like if you ever go like are these compounds open to the public or not i'm not sure but like if you go there wouldn't you have to carry like your steam information with you or whatever game platform you know you got to carry your phone your steam information be like oh steam i'm logging in from a new device is this you you got to confirm that shit on your phone and do all this other shit Oh, you gotta go download the game. You gotta go download this, that. It's like, I, I don't know. I've just never been to a game compound. So uh, yeah, there's all this like other extra shit that you have to take into consideration for. It is to your right, which is the tournament rooms. Two tournament rooms whenever we're running like our competitive tournaments. Like uh, uh, last weekend we had our Call of Duty tournament, which is the largest amateur one in the United States. We had 60 oh, yeah. teams compete for $8,000. The finals were in there. The what do you say? actually have in location. We have the rows, we have the private cubbies that gives you kind of like a, a little bit of a private feel. Um, even more private is to your right, which is the tournament rooms. Two right. tournament rooms whenever we're running like our competitive tournaments, like uh, uh, last weekend we had our Call of Duty tournament, which is the largest amateur one. Oh, largest amateur tournament in the US. In the United States, we had 60 oh, yeah. teams. For 60 teams competing for 8K. I don't know if this is like, probably not sanctioned, so whatever. 
it wasn't like supported by cod and whatnot but like i mean good on him for like doing that compete for eight thousand dollars the finals were in there over here nice area, um, we have our old school slash new school polycade it's free to play oh this thing the polycade i think i saw this somewhere maybe it's on like reddit like some it was like a dude or some company that takes like a pc and he just loads like thousands of old school arcades arcade games onto the the hard drive then he just like makes this like cabinet to like give you back that old feel of playing games on an arcade stick and i thought this was the coolest thing people come in here get stuff in the bar four console play uh ps5s one of our favorites Ooh. Like, oh, oh. Can you play Mario Kart with that wheel? <laughs> no, not yet. Full service bar, Dang. great kitchen. We're up here, we can do like a multitude of different things. We can use it as a private gaming lounge. We can use it as like, if we have a larger tournament, we can bring in those PCs that I was talking about. Nice. This whole wall up. Um, same with consoles. So if we're running like a large Smash Bros tournament, we can do that. We've done stuff with Ohio State football. Uh, we've done stuff with Ohio State basketball, the Columbus crew, where we'll actually move this section off. And so if we have like a special guest or whatever, we'll have this area for them in here. It's probably a mess as well. So it's I do for all right, so now I can't. <laughs> I, I'm giving you uh, permission. So whenever we're streaming anything large, mm -hmm. in-house or out of house. Damn, dude, there's just computers on computers. This probably was a massive project to set up all of these fucking computers, all of that shit out there. This is crazy, dude. So server. I know the few times we've met, I've told you about, I'll actually show you our server and it's separate. Um, I told you a few times about us doing uh, events remotely. We'll actually do this as our like production head right here, observers over there. So yeah, hard to see in here. It is a mess, but yeah, it's our server. Room. That's all right. Like the one downside of this place is we just do not have storage. So we have to like make do. Our tech people uh. are wizards and I am not a wizard. Here, you can get a uh, liminal space. Liminal space, let's go. The back rooms. Little space. <laughs> Justin Cody right founded Game Arena back in like, I don't know, it was like 2016, I think, 2017 maybe. But he uh, went to school here at Ohio State University. Um, he originally actually scoped out this area, but settled on Hilliard. Um, and then we had Hilliard as our original Game Arena location. Um, unfortunately, I shut down this past year. Um, oh, so there was two? There was two locations for a while. Um, reason being is we just like this location better. It's more profitable. We eventually decided to shut that one down and focus, put like 100% of our focus into this location here. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. It's Bro, there is just so many electronics just going on in this compound, it seems. It's very cool to look at, but again, the video was like, are they worth it? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if they're worth it, dude. It's been, uh, it's so been going this past well. year, you said? Yeah, this past year. Hilliard was open all the way through June this past year. The last event that we did was actually a Sea of Thieves event. So, huge Sea of Thieves community. Uh, Dread Pirate Doug is the gentleman's name who threw the event, great event. Um, so most of the events ran by like separate people that just use your equipment and stuff. Third party event organizers have my heart because that's less work for me. Yeah. Um, but we do a lot of events here. Um, the general manager here is Austin Palson. Um, Austin Palson also runs a lot of events um, here. He runs the Call of Duty tournament that I was telling you about earlier. Mm -hmm. We were going to ask about uh, a VR setup. We didn't see it here, so we assume not. But he thought, yeah, we, we, so we had VR our at our Hilliard location. Oh. Um, we don't have it anymore. We still have the equipment. But since Oh wait, so this is just one location. There's an entire other compound set up similar to this. Holy shit. Storage right now. Set up there and people at their own risk. Oh my god! Do these have like... Like, I like the concept of bringing a bunch of people together to just enjoy the hobby of gaming. I think that's something that's really lost upon, I don't know, like modern modern gamers or whatever because everyone just you know chills at their own house and plays online with everybody everything but i really like the idea of just you know being physically with other people like like enjoying like the same game and just bullshitting and whatnot but damn dude is it worth it i don't know again 
stream setups built into them? Do people stream from these, or do they go in there to? Um, so people can that? stream from them. Um, we've actually had we've actually hosted tournaments where um, we have our stream, which is the main stream. But we've told teams before, like they can stream from you can stream from your PC. Yeah, so you have multiple different perspectives. Oh, okay. so, yeah. So Mario Kart Saturday. Maybe? Mario Kart Saturday, maybe. Yeah. maybe. yeah, yeah. You can have the joint stream with Mankalor. So yeah, that would be sick. So actually, the membership is something that we like just recently started over the last year. Memberships. Um, I would say we have like maybe 50 or 60 members right now. Um, so it's not focused on the memberships, it's just Not necessarily, yeah. We do hourly gaming for PC and console as well as the racing sims. So like for example, the racing sims, you can get on there for half an hour for only $5. Whereas the PCs, uh, the more time you buy, the cheaper it is. So what I usually tell people is if they want to be a member at Game Arena, like if you come here twice in a month, it pays for itself. So if you come here two yeah, times or more. 40 bucks or something for the month. Yeah, so. exactly. So it makes sense to just be Remember, but we, it's something that we really that's haven't pushed cool. that much. Okay, I think that's about everything. Spencer? I think these like little third space areas are really cool. If there was one around me, I don't know. I think I would probably go there. Thanks for showing us around. Thanks for the info. But I think the verdict has been reached. So, is the Pro Gamer compound worth it? No, because after touring this place, yeah. I realized that's not what Game Arena is. It's a walking distance from Ohio State on a lively street. There's yeah, you would... If you are the sole owner of one of these compounds, it would be in your best interest to stick these one, like one of these things into like a super high populated city. You're not going to be over here in some bumfuck, whatever, like nowheresville, Florida, uh, and have a gamer compound drop on your dome. That's just not going to happen. You need to put this in a highly, uh, like a densely highly populated area of a city. There's a booming bar and fucking awesome food. This place is way closer to a bar and arcade than it is to a compound. Those seem to turn what should be a fun thing into a- And it's, I like these little third spaces because honestly, if they said, I don't know if they said they had alcohol or not, but it's like, it's that transitionary period of like gaming as a kid to gaming as like a teenager to like like into adulthood and it and it's like it makes gaming as an adult like a more commonplace type of thing if they're serving like food and alcohol and i don't know i think that's cool man a corporate and hellish nightmare help me it's like hard to breathe in here it's like it's like jail in here that's music to my ear Oh yeah, like with the wall, the cinder block wall right there. That's kind of weird. Where gaming's treated like a job and you just sit at a computer for like eight hours straight training. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Oh yeah. There oh God. And this picture. Yep, the gaming, or no, this is the cubicle business. And this is the, <laughs> the gaming compound. Well, on the gaming compound, these these people are just playing games. These guys are actually working, and probably none of them want to be here. All right? They're the same picture. That's just yeah. not what gaming's about, or at least what it should be about. And even oh, I... Oh, shit. This one's got the towers completely in the walls. This is actually fucking fantastic. And watch this be like the World of Warcraft fucking race to world first compound for, for what is this, Team Liquid? Yeah, watch this be like the World of Warcraft thing. Yep, no adjustable desk, just one big table. Uh, little headphones hanging off on the monitor. Yep. No monitor arm, whatever. No, this is actually still cool, though. <laughs> As someone who's more involved in the industry side of things and takes games a little too seriously, I can admit that video games are first and foremost about fun. 99% yeah. of people who play games do it as a hobby. So yeah. making a place that caters more to those people makes a hell of a lot more sense oh, than a yeah. place exclusively for the sweaty one percenters. Yes, because the sweaty one percenters are going to be off doing their own thing anyway. So having these areas slash compounds slash facilities catered to like the casual people is really cool. You know, you just get off work. Maybe you have like a friend or two that you work with that you like and you have like something in like similar hobbies that you like. And you're like, hey, you want to go get something to eat and then go go to the, the game arcade or whatever. It's like, yeah, sure. We go hang out. Yeah, this is just awesome.
This place has the perfect balance of everything. It's got a lively esports scene, big weekly and monthly tournaments, and also plenty of room for casuals, with this nightlife bar vibe that just makes it a great place to hang. A place where people who like video games can meet other people like them. Turning the hobby from one of isolation in your cave to yeah. one of socializing and making new friends. Does that mean they shouldn't push memberships at Game Arena? Well, no, because like Spencer said, if you go more than twice a month, it pays for itself. But yeah. that being a facet of the company and not the focal point is definitely the way to do it. It takes the best aspects of the gamer compound and a more traditional bar setting and combines them. And in my opinion... Dang. That's actually really cool. Opinion, that layout should replace the more conventional gamer compound idea. I mean, those are already built, you know, but going yeah. forward, I'd like to see more places like this. What do you think, though? The the gamer compound, like the 100 Thieves TSM type of thing, versus just the bar with a shitload of computers. I think that's really, that, that bro, that's cool, man. I know you've got some burning opinions on this, so let it out. Is the whole idea stupid? Do you love them and hate JonTron for taking a steaming pile of shit on them? Or do you stand somewhere in the middle? Leave your take in the comments. And after that, check out this video, where I turn one cent into a full-on game collection in less time than a 9 to 5. I'll see you over there. Nice. Oh, this is a cool-ass little video, man. I'm a fan. <sighs> yeah. I mean, are they worth it? Probably not, but I don't know. Only they are going to know like what the actual numbers are with like their like monthly income and all that shit or whatever. And plus, I mean, as long as you like gaming as a hobby and you go there, you're going to find people of like that with similar interests as you. So it's only the person that's like taking on like most of the responsibility is like the person that has to like set it down somewhere, take on all the financial shit of like setting everything up, getting all the best equipment, so on and so forth, all of that shit. But then after that, like everybody that comes in, it's just, I would be flabbergasted if one like opened up around me. Cause that just seems like fucking awesome, man. But uh, yeah, I thought this video was cool. And uh, yeah, I want to see some more. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, later.